Well, I think social media plays the same role or a similar role in part as it does in other people's life, whether it's your personal life and communicating with your friends, keeping up with the news, keeping up with your interests, meeting contacts, whether again it's business or your outside interests. Um, I think for physicians, for researchers, for people in the medical field, it does the same sort of thing. Uh, I think that it also uh, allows outreach to patients and patients follow me and others on social media and I think that that's a lot of fun. Uh, you have to be careful because sometimes you can be a little flip uh, or say things that uh, you know this group of patients may do well or not well um, based on a, a certain therapy and um, not necessarily remember that there are patients out there acting on that. Um, on the other hand, I think it's a great way for patients to learn about other physicians, what they think, other perspectives of the disease, new data that are out there and what's coming along that patients should know about. Um, and obviously, like with social media, patients build communities, physicians build communities. Those of us working in the field, whether you're in industry, academia, clinical care, um, you know, what, whatever your background is, I think people like to interact and, and bounce ideas off each other, hear what people are thinking, and um, you know, also kind of push back and say I disagree and here's why and hear different views that, um, you know, there are people that I've met on social media that I'm seeing here at ASH that I either have never seen before in person or, you know, pretty rarely. And it's nice to feel like you know somebody because you've kind of interacted with them. So I think it's a, it's a good thing. One has to do it carefully, but I think uh, something that I think has helped to move our field forward.